We go to differential diagnosis for hiatus hernia and acid reflux. Let's start with the Western differentiation. Hiatus hernia and acid reflux occur in the portion of the stomach. Uh, this is about hiatus hernia. Hiatus hernia occurs when a portion of the stomach protrudes upward into the chest through an opening in the diaphragm. It is a very common condition and most often seen in people over the age of 50. The mechanism which stops acid from regurgitating into the gullet from the stomach stops working. Acidic stomach content moves up. That is why we have acid reflux into the esophagus, damaging its lining, leading to esophagitis and causing heartburn. Signs and symptoms, heartburn, which is worse when bending over or lying down, difficulty swallowing, chest pain and belching. Underlying causes are obesity, contributing to the weakening of the supportive tissue, smoking, congenital. Children with this condition usually have it from birth when it is associated with regurgitation of food soon after feeding. The babies usually remain comfortable and thrive. Most cases clear up by the age of nine or 10 months. Other causes of acid reflux are peptic ulcer disease, acute and chronic gastritis, excessive consumption of alcohol, dyspepsia pregnancy. Complications, slow bleeding, iron deficiency anemia, and pulmonary aspiration. Now let's go to the Chinese differentiation of hiatus hernia and acid reflux. Diagnostic questioning according to organ differentiation. This is primarily the co-cycle relationship of wood and earth. According to aggravation, so uh, if the condition is aggravated with stress, this is chi stagnation. And uh, if the hiatus hernia occurs with heating foods like uh, alcohol, coffee, and chocolate, this is stomach and liver heat. Hiatus hernia with bending or lying, this is spleen deficiency. If the condition occurs with a cold or flu, this is lung chi deficiency. With eating, food stagnation, phlegm damp, damp heat. With emotions and stress, stagnation of liver chi, yin or blood deficiency. With palpation, blood stagnation, damp heat chi stagnation. Diagnostic questioning according to amelioration. So if the hiatus hernia is uh, improved with belching, this is food stagnation or chi stagnation. The acid reflux, rather. Etiology. Diet. Eating large quantities of heat-producing foods. Irregular eating habits. Not chewing food properly. Emotions like anger, frustration, and worry affect the spleen, stomach, and liver, thus resulting in acid reflux. Being overweight will easily bring about hiatus hernia, lack of exercise, and tight or restrictive clothing as well. Zanfu patterns for hiatus hernia and acid reflux. Excess patterns include liver chi invading the stomach, liver fire blazing, stomach fire, phlegm damp, stomach chi ascending counter flow. Deficiency patterns are spleen and stomach chi or yang deficiency, stomach in deficiency, liver in deficiency. Thank you for your attention.